In our quest to study and improve our own leadership abilities, it is wise to also study ineffective leadership techniques. We all know and have worked for leaders who are knuckleheads and incompetent. Sadly, in my special forces career, I had a few leaders who I wouldn't follow into my favorite Mexican restaurant, even if they were offering to pay. Let's take a look at three of the worst leadership techniques out there. Leadership by email, leadership by polling rank, and leadership by buzzwords or cliches and platitudes. Last year for April Fool's Day, I made a satirical video about a subject near and dear to my heart, how to be tough. And while this video will also have some humor in it, bad leadership is not a laughing matter. Let's jump into my least favorite leadership technique, leadership by email. Nothing shows that you're a poor leader better than leadership by email. Let's face it, Sun Tzu was not a big emailer. Napoleon was not a great emailer. Stonewall Jackson was not a great emailer either. And George Washington never sent an email in his life. Who cares about being competent? Who cares about setting the example? Who cares about serving? And for sure, who cares about effective communication? If you really want to inspire your subordinates, send them an email. Let's imagine a ridiculous situation where a special forces team gets an email alerting them about a no-notice deployment to go conduct an unconventional warfare mission. But the email was sent at 1800 on a Friday. No one was in the team room, so no one got the email. No one was alerted. The airplane arrives on Saturday morning to pick up the team and fly them to Africa, but no one was there. They didn't get the email. You see, email is a tool. It's not a leadership technique. Better than letting your subordinates know something by email, why not spend some time down in the trenches with your subordinates, with your men? Have a normal mechanism for planning with your team and sharing information. As far as communication goes, voice communication is more effective than email, but face-to-face -face is more effective than voice. And never forget, it's a lot easier to understand follow me than do as I say or do as I email. The worst way to earn respect is to let people know that you outrank them. I have found that the worst leaders often have to remind their team that they're in charge. This is the insecure and young lieutenant who walks across the street to remind some guys who didn't even see him that they forgot to salute him. This officer is a tool. The best way to get kicked out of special operations or military training is to forget that you're a student and to pull rank. Uh, I know we're all ranger students, but I'm a second lieutenant and you need to treat me with respect. Funny enough, I've seen this a few times. Guys like this always get kicked out or peered out. I still remember years ago as a young officer when a GS employee pulled rank on me. Even though he was dead wrong, that nerd had the audacity to say, uh, I'm a GS-13 and technically I outrank you, so you will do what I say, lieutenant. Truthfully, I almost throttled that guy and for sure I did not do what he said. I never recommend pulling rank to get your way. Yes, rank has its privileges, but those privileges include the burden of leadership, responsibility, trust, and hard work. There will be times when your word is final and your subordinates are going to have to do what you say. Of course there will be friction when you're a leader, but I never recommend reminding them that you outrank them. Competence is independent of rank and pay, but it is usually the incompetent ones who rely the most upon their rank to get things done. The last bad leadership technique we will discuss is leadership by platitudes. These type of leaders talk in buzzwords, in empty slogans, in cliches. They never had an original or genuine thought in their life. They repeat statements that have been used too often to be interesting or thoughtful. Leadership by buzzwords is the nerdy or weak leader who tries to hide his incompetence through vocabulary. 
I will be doing my civic duty to cast my sacred ballot amongst the local populace in an inclusive and decisive manner to preserve the unalienable rights of we the people in the land of the free and the home of the brave to support life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What? I think that guy just said he's going to vote. On the S&P 500 stocks recently adjusted for inflation via supply and demand with quantitative easing so that zero interest rates gained affect the Federal Reserve, whose decision was bullish so markets would not tank. What? I think he said that financial analysts and speculators are crazy. Hey brother, I appreciate you. First of all, I'm not your brother, and a heartfelt thank you would suffice. I once had the displeasure of working with a military intelligence officer, let's call him Lieutenant Colonel Blue, Falcon, who is one of the biggest knuckleheads I ever knew. Everything he said was selfish and designed to steal the spotlight. Uh, roger that, whoa. We will go by, with, through the local populace, using the instruments of national power, the intelligence preparation of the battlefield process, an intel cycle, at a decisive time and decisive location, to mass combat power and battlefield enablers, to find, fix, finish, in the interest of gaining synergy, to engage, deter, and defeat the enemies of our country, foreign and domestic, so help me God. What? I think that guy just confirmed that they're having a urinalysis tomorrow. Clichés, buzzwords, and platitudes are not helpful. Communicate effectively and efficiently. Keep it simple. As a freebie, I would warn you to stay away from repeaters. These are leaders who don't have anything important to say, so they say everything twice or thrice. Morning, morning. How you doing, how you doing? Next slide, next slide. Okay, so there you have it. Three leadership tools that you should never use. Leadership by email, leadership by polling rank, and leadership through buzzwords, cliches, and platitudes. Which one do you dislike more and why? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to join my life as a special operations team and to forward this video to a friend who needs to see it. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?